All right, everybody, Matt Light here, special reporter for Fox 25 News, and I'm at Southwick Zoo with Peter Brewer. Now, Peter, your grandfather is the guy responsible for Southwick Zoo. You grew up here at the zoo. I have to think you know a little bit of something about these animals. And I've been around exotic animals for about 40, 40 years or so, so I know a little bit, and I'm also a veterinarian at the zoo. I have to imagine that you have some animals in here that would be representative of this past Super Bowl, the one that we just went through with the Falcons and the Patriots, right? You got anything in here yeah, you can show absolutely. us? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go take a walk down into the zoo and check it out. All right, we're in. What is this that I'm holding? It's actually uh, a falcon, but he's a little depressed. He's been depressed since the Super Bowl. Here, hold on. Hold this, buddy. Should, should be able to. No. He should be able to no. hold that. I mean, honestly, they dropped the ball, people. Look, watch. I'm, I'm not buying it. He's just probably still depressed, right? I think he's still depressed. There's something about their eating habits, correct? Yeah, they tend to engorge themselves a lot, and then uh, at the end of the meal, sometimes they'll choke on some of that. Yeah. Yeah, so That's you hear right. it at first, falcons are good at choking, they're good at obviously blowing things, and they don't have good grip strength. It's kind of reminiscent of the game. You're gonna get better, I know you will. Look at him, yeah, I've got look a, at him, look at I've him. Got, look I've got to give him some vitamins, yeah, I think, he's, so. Uh, he's gonna be all right, people. How about we bring in our next friend? This, now this screams New England and the Patriots. Yeah, we have a number of different types of goats at the zoo, pygmy goats, Nigerian goats, had fainting goats, and, uh, but you know, we've, we've uh, crossed these up a little and we think that this is like a New England super goat. Very hardy, great. A great under pressure. Great under pressure. And usually they always come back against all odds. What's the diet of a super goat? Well, it's, you know, goats are known to eat anything, but we try and give them a great diet at the zoo here. What about avocado ice cream? Yeah, goat, they, they might try that. How about yeah. almonds? Almonds would probably be good. Now listen, Almonds are very nutritious and, he and healthful. One thing I know little Tommy here is not going to want nightshades. No nightshades. No nightshades. A lot of inflammation on the nightshades. Yeah. Obviously, he's a super goat. He's going to be doing a lot of jumping and running. Not the fastest running in the world, but he's a, he's, he, is, he is an athlete. This is a, a, no, a super it, goat. It is a super goat. And uh, the thing I like about the goats, too, is they're also very gracious and humble. Yeah. And uh, You, you know, don't see that much these you, days. You don't see that that much these days. And, I just think they're great. Even when these goats are bullied or attacked, I mean, they'll stand up to anything. Even the, some of the donkeys we have in the pasture, you know, it's 10 times the size of this goat, and they won't back down. They won't, they just don't back down. Roger that. Tommy Jr., you're gonna get your chance to meet this little fella if you come out to Splitsville on March 2nd. Be a part of Team Speed of Light, where we're celebrating our marathon team and having a great time raising money for the Light Foundation, the work that we do through the efforts of our marathon team. We look forward to seeing you. Check out mattlight72.com and get your chance to have a picture with a, a, a New England icon, really. I mean, this is Tommy Jr. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Woo!